Okay, we, we brushed, we did our crops. Okay, so we just need to go back down and, uh... And finish getting the wood for the day. We need to just make sure we get some extra wood as well. Um... So that way we can do some other stuff. Because we're going to need a bunch of wood for ash. Because uh, we have... It's like... 17 times 4... Uh, is... Math, 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 math. It's weird. I can't do simple math in my head, but for some reason, like, when I get to, like calculus and stuff that that stuff I it's not a problem for me I don't know why I can't do 17 times 4 it should be 8 68 so we need 68 uh, ash every crop of the flag thing so so we need to go ahead and make sure that we get enough extra wood because every wood turns into one ash so if we can get enough Ash, um, <laughs> I just realized my, my captions is censoring. It thinks I'm saying ass when I'm saying ash. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Hey, Leave Ending, how you doing today? Good to see you. I was just, uh, I was just talking to Void, uh, wondering if you were gonna stream this evening. But, uh, she mentioned that you weren't you weren't feeling too well, so I hope you're doing better. I'm alright, not used to the late streams. Yeah, I I had some appointments and stuff in the morning, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of a nap and I'll, I'll stream afterwards. And then I woke up at like five o'clock my time essentially, then I had dinner and I had to get some stuff set up for uh, something I'm doing, an event I'm working this weekend on stream, so. Okay, so we have, we have 400 which is as much as we need, and then we have 40 things. What did I say we needed? Eight, 68, we need 68 more wood. I'm gonna start Dragon Age 2, okay. Playing that in isolation every other day. All right, yeah, I, saw, I, caught, the, I caught the alien isolation stuff. I still have not played that game. I, I, I've seen it so many times, but I've just never actually sat down and played. I don't even know if I have a copy of it, to be honest, um, but. But yeah, since I'm doing a late stream, I was like, you know what? Let's do some let's do some cozy stuff, and uh, so we're just we're just doing some moonstone, trying to basically trying to finish up um, the the like last part of this game. <laughs> yeah, it is the leaf end. <laughs> yeah, first time as well. I I don't get so far. I don't get the hype. I think it's because like. It's, it's one of the ones where there's actually, like, a legitimate predator coming after you. And a lot of horror games, it's just like, jump scare, haha, the thing's scary. But in that game, like, you actually feel like you're being hunted, at least from what I've been told. But, I don't know. Like, again, I haven't, I haven't played it, so... I'm, I'm too busy playing horror games from 2001, so... <laughs> I'll get to it eventually. But, uh, oh, did you beat, uh, did you do Origins on stream? You think you're still too, yeah, yeah. I, I, that, that is what I figured. Um, or are you just jumping directly into Dragon Age 2? Because I didn't see you play Origins. Okay. Let's do this. Do this. What can we? What can we upgrade from this? Only blight. Um. Okay. What do you have to upgrade? Okay, you have a bunch of stuff. Holy water. Eh. Sacrifice would be good to upgrade. Let's see what you have to upgrade. Fire breath. Oh, definitely burn. Yeah, burn is just. Played some Origins a while back, but the PC port is super finicky, and I'm not interested in downloading a million pet. Fair point. Fair point. I completely understand. Um. 
void. You, you should stream Calico. <laughs> oh god. Everyone should stream Calico. You heard it here first. Both Void and, and Leave Ending say stream Calico. Uh. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah. Okay, so we need 40 of these. Okay. And then 40 of these. Basically what I'm doing is these stalls automatically regrow food. Um, so what you usually have to do is you have to make those wooden stalls and then you have to put fiber in them to feed them. But by using moonstones, we can essentially um, just uh, have auto feeders. So all we have to do is brush them every day and uh, we're good. And brushing them doesn't take any stamina either. So, But we're going to get this set up. We're going to put our other dark in here, and then we're going to look at what we got in our storage to uh, to move in here. But there it is uh, each each zone of this. And we have like six six zones because we have the maxed out barn. Um, each zone is uh, 40 spirits big. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, this game is, uh, this game's really interesting. If you, if you like creature collectors, it's got stuff. Card battling is, is an interesting combat system. It's not my favorite, particularly. Uh, the life stuff, life sim stuff seems a little shallow, unfortunately, which is why I tried it out. But, uh, overall, I think I like, I, I think I like this game. I mean, I, I've, I've played it for almost 40 hours, so if I didn't like it at this point, uh, Never got into games like this, never tried, really, but I played Cold of the Lamb and wasn't feeling it. That's fair. That's fair. Cold of the Lamb is more... more action-oriented, though. But, yeah, co cozy games are kind of hit and miss. Sometimes you can vibe with them, sometimes you can't. Okay. So, first things first. Dark. Spirit Barn. Psychic. Spirit Barn. Okay, we don't need fire that much. Um, Punchy Pot, Spirit Barn. I'm trying to put anything in there that we don't already have. I don't think we have Long Log. Um, there's Cool Slime. There's an achievement to have Cool Slime and Magus Slime in your your team and following you. We might, we might do that one real quick, since it's not that hard. But, uh, because we have Magus Slime up here, we can... Transfer to Medallion. We'll put Octopup there. And then... Uh, cool Slime. Transfer, Medallion. Ribite there. And then I believe if we walk outside, they should both be following us, and then we should get an achievement. There we go. Terraria forever. Have a Cool Slime and a Mista Slime follow you. So, that's Terraria reference, if you did not know. Okay. They have a bunch of little achievements like that. Um, we'll put the cool slime there. Uh, follow me to another stall. Okay, that that's not where I wanted to put you, but I'll put you here, and then I'll switch you out so that way. Uh, move to medallion, magic slime. And then we're gonna. Put these over here. And then we need to make sure we brush them. But yeah, I it's it's weird because like I thought as I got older I wouldn't really like vibe with cozy games, but I think the reason why I like them is because they have a lot of tasks to do. So you're constantly like engaging with the system of I got to do this thing, I got to do this thing tomorrow, I got to do this thing, this thing, this, right? It just it, it perpetuates itself very well. So you feel like you're constantly doing something, um, which is not something you get from a lot of games. Or the games are very short, so when you do get that like keep moving, keep moving, keep moving thing, uh, eventually you just run out of game. Um, but yeah, I, I I get it. I get it either way. 
All right, so let's go ahead and rest for the night. We didn't really do anything other than get that stuff set up. Oh, we should set up our ash to go ahead and... Uh... Okay, it looks like the coal berries are ready. Sell those. Okay, let's get our coal out. Oh, we actually have enough coal in here, I think. Just in case, let's get this up to 50. All right, so we got four. We need a total of nine moonstones. Micromanaging, I guess, is four to me. I kept killing everyone in the cult because I never had to build a farm and manage food and stuff. People were raging how bad I was. I mean, that's fine. Like, I, I was talking to somebody else who played this game, and they're really, really into, like, the card battler aspect of the game, and they're not very much into the life sim stuff. And they were talking about how, you know, they felt like people judged them for being, like, too intense on the on the card battler stuff. And I was just like, dude, play it how you want, man. It does, at the end of the day, it does, really doesn't matter. You know? It, as, as long as you're having fun, then I think you're playing the game right. Um... The, the only caveat I have to that, as long as your fun isn't ruining someone else's fun, like using cheats and stuff in competitive games, I feel like that's a bit underhanded, but... Alright, flags are up. Let's grab these. And then we'll go ahead and put the seeds in here, and we'll keep the rest of the flags on us for now. Get these coal berries. And then we'll sell them. And I think this is probably the last harvest of coal berries we're going to get. Um, unfortunately. Uh, because the season's almost over. But yeah, micromanaging is a, is a very good way of putting it. That's that's basically what, what the a lot of these games are. Um, but... I don't know. It's, it's one of those, like, sometimes you can find one, like, there's a lot of people that, like, they love Stardew Valley, but do they don't like any other cozy game. And there's some people that just absolutely cannot do Stardew Valley, but they love other types of cozy games. So it's just one of those, I think you got to find the one that most vibes with you. Um, and then, you know, check that one out and have fun with that one. And of course, there's, 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 a, there's a chance that just cozy games is just not a genre for you. Yeah, see right there, like, Void, Void, I'm sure, likes a lot of cozy games, or at least a few cozy games, but couldn't get into Stardew. That's a perfect example. And that's, that's fine. You know. The time thing gave you... Yeah, yeah. What's cool about this game, I, I do want to mention, um, it actually has... Uh, you can you can adjust things like the spawn rate of spirits. You can adjust the battle difficulty. You can ad adjust the day length, and you can adjust the fishing mini game, uh, which is very cool. Um, one game, one cozy game. It's a little bit of a morbid uh, uh, cozy game. Um, is it's called Graveyard Keeper. Uh, there is no time limit, right? Uh, the way Graveyard Keeper works is basically you have a stamina bar, and as long as you have stuff to, like, refill your stamina, you can just keep going for as long as you want. The days will pass, and certain things happen on certain days, but there is zero time limit to gauge with anything. There's not, like, a day and night, like, force like a lot of these games have. Um, so if you, if, you, if you don't like the time thing, Graveyard Keeper is a good one to look up. Basically, it's, like... If it, if, if it was Stardew with corpses is the best way people have described it. But yeah, you manage a graveyard. Uh, if you can hoard resources, you're into it. I mean, you can hoard resources in most cozy games. So yeah, uh, speaking of which, uh, I was just mentioning that uh, Bloom did inspire me. Uh, I think after we beat Moonstone Island, we might do our own Animal Crossing playthrough. Uh, OG GameCube Animal Crossing. So, But... Uh, but yeah, so let's get in here and brush our uh, creatures. Turn Skyrim into a horde fest. I mean, Skyrim's always a horde fest. There's just so much in that game. <laughs> Let's 
It's like even when you don't try to hoard stuff, you still end up with a hoard. So. Have you seen a little horror game that looks like Animal Crossing? Are you talking about the one where you're like a scarecrow creature? And you have like four farms and then something tries to kill you at night? Because yeah, I've seen that one. I don't remember what it's called, but... If I can fill as many chests with all the things I love. Fair, fair, fair. fair. Oh, no, I've seen Rental, um, but no, I, I haven't played that one. That one's really short, though. It's where you play as a bunny, you're trying to, like, start a business, like a food delivery business, I think. Um, or maybe I'm confusing it with a different game. But you, like, ride a moped around, and you have to, like, take orders to certain people, and then it just gets really dark <laughs> very quickly. Uh, yeah, there, there's a there's a lot of really good horror games out there too. It, it's it's weird that it, the dichotomy between like horror and cozy game, because there's a lot of people that that I like that I follow that are like four days a week it's horror, and then like one day it's just like games like this and the games like Stardew and stuff like that. It's just like I don't know why there's so much overlap between the cozy community and the horror community, but it's there. <laughs> it's there quite a bit. But, uh... Okay, and then we just got the last little bit over here to be... Yeah, okay. Alright, we didn't get a Dark Matter today, which is unfortunate, but fine. By the way, I, is the dog still out here, or did we give it away? There's a, there's a fire dog, um, that, that's, uh, this one, Pom Pom, uh, that's actually from Cassette Beasts. If you like, uh, like, Pokemon likes, or, you know, the Creature Collector Battler kind of thing, Cassette Beast is amazing. It is a like music based uh um like pokemon game essentially it, it it is awesome the soundtrack's great the story's great it's just a really really cool game i keep forgetting to come here and get our free coffee for the day and we're not even really using the coffee so Okay, so some days she actually sells it for cheaper, which is interesting. But, uh, but yeah, we, we, I, I was mentioning it last stream, we kind of hit a point, uh, never played Pokemon, it, really? Is it, is it because you didn't want to, or you just, it wasn't available to you? Because sometimes, like, me, there's a lot of games that we play that I, that I just wasn't available to me, so I just never played them. Okay, just checking, double checking our plants. Um, okay, so our ash should be good. Um, okay, so. So let's go ahead and get some of these going. We should be able to make 23 of these. Or 18 of these, I can't math. Um,. And these are our taming potions. What's cool though, what I really like about this one that a lot of games don't do, is when you use one of these like feeding, like these concoctions, you don't lose the container. It gives you the container back. So all you have to do is just put the, the thing in there. I played blue, but I think my cartridge was glitched because my Snorlax never woke up. <laughs> Fair. 
didn't seem interested. Worked at GameStop for quite a while, and people would always gave me crap for never playing it. I mean, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. There, there's The gaming community, just in general, has a lot of toxic players that think, oh, you haven't played so-and-so? Well, you're not a real blank fan, or you're not a real gamer. I, I hate that mentality so much. Because, like, literally the only thing that makes you a gamer is that you play games. Like, I, I like to tick a lot of them off by being like, if you play board games, you're also a gamer. Because they hate that. They hate thinking that board games are in the same category as video games. But, like, for me, if you play games, you're a gamer. I don't, I, I don't really care, like, what games you play. Like, the, it's probably sacrilege for the horror community. I've never played a Resident Evil game. You know, I've played the Silent Hill games multiple times. I've never played a single Resident Evil game. I, I take it back. I've taken, like, I've played, like, two hours of Resident Evil 4 on GameCube, and that was it. So, basically haven't played it essentially you know and it's just like who cares you know it's just one sometimes it's not available to the person two you know just because you haven't played a game doesn't mean you're any less of a gamer like yeah it's just people people give you crap for stuff like that they they they're just not worth your time um, i think we're just gonna push the day forward um, because I was talking about doing this before, where we're just gonna we're gonna just try to push into winter. So as long as we do our crops, do our spirits, um, we should be good. Cocoa Krispies time. <laughs> what? Eating cereal at nine p.m. Central time? Uh. Do you have any spare ore? I'll buy them off you if you want. I'm bored. Come say hi. Okay, well, let's go say hi to Farah, who should be open in a little bit. But, yeah, I, I've, I've never gotten into the mentality. It, it's, it's the same uh, mentality that leads into that, oh, you didn't beat the game on hard mode? Well, you didn't actually beat it. Screw you, dude. I saw the in, in credits. I beat the game. Doesn't matter if that was on easy or ultra violent. You know? There she is. Like, also, Ultraviolet is a difficulty if you've ever played Doom. <laughs> Before anybody's like, what are you talking about? It's a Doom difficulty. Okay, she didn't have any... She told me to stop by and didn't do anything. Just wasted my time. That's what you're doing. Never played the original RE trilogy because there were so many other interesting horror games back then. Yeah, like, like... I actually, it was funny, I actually have a, a story from when I was a kid. I had a anxiety attack uh, because we went to GameStop and I got Resident Evil 1. And for some reason, I just had an anxiety attack that I just really didn't want to play the game. So we actually were in the mall. We went to like one side of the mall and I told my parents about that. I was, I was, I was young, younger, obviously. Um, and we, we returned the game. Like we little, leg I legitimately returned uh, RE1 way back when, just because I just didn't feel like I had anxiety thinking about playing it. I don't know why that happened, uh, because only a couple years later I would end up getting most of the Silent Hill games. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I have a, I had a ex friend. We used to be friends, but he. Uh, Turned out not to be a good person, but uh, he was he was he was the RE guy. He was all about Resident Evil. He had basically never played a Silent Hill game uh, other than like, I think, Homecoming, which is not bad, but it's definitely not one of the best. Um, I do like Homecoming. I think it gets a lot more flack than it deserves. I feel like I owe it to the horror game history to play the OG trilogy, but kind of don't want to. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, again, I don't think you should be, like, forced to play anything. If you if you don't want to play them, don't play them, man. Don't waste the money. Don't waste the time. Play what you want to play, especially if you're going to stream stuff. That That's one thing when I came back, because I had... Basically, what ended up happening is I did a year and a half straight. Basically, every single day I streamed. And then I, uh, after a year and a half, I took some time off because I needed to move. And something that was supposed to take, uh, like, a month-ish ended up turning into like six months and then i came back and a bunch of things happened and i didn't get to stream for another two months and then i came back again 
And it's just like, it, and then I realized, I was like, man, I just, I, I'm just going to play what I want to play. <laughs> so, that's why we're playing all these retro games and stuff. So, okay. So I think those are all good. We need to put the fertilizer down again. Um. Boop, 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 boop. Um, eggs can go in there too, right? Is that where we're putting the eggs? No, that's not where we're putting the eggs. Put that in there. That in there. We can sell the extra seeds because they re-harvest every time. So, oh, we should have sold it to the, the vendors now that I thought about that. Uh, I think we're putting the eggs in here. Yeah, putting the eggs in here for now. Um, okay, we can also sell this batch of coal berries. That'll give us some cash. Uh, let's go ahead and just sell the... I'm being lazy and just selling the seeds here instead of selling them to the seeds people. Um, you get 150% uh, cost when you sell it to the seeds people. Now oh, you got two. <laughs> Croco Krispies and Watching Order just feels right. Hey, as long as you're having a good time, that's all that matters. Life is too short to worry about other BS than just having a good time. We waste so much of our adult life just worrying about all these other things. Sometimes you just need those days where it's just like, you know what, screw it. It's pajamas, pizza, and, and you know, whatever whatever's on TV. <laughs> My first year streaming, I built a community and Gears of War and wrestling content. Took a year off, completely dissed myself away from the initial ways I streamed because I didn't want to be pigeonholed into specific games content. Yeah. Yeah. I think that ends up happening with everybody. There, there's so many streamers that I'll see that are like, oh, they're Dark Souls streamers, right? And they play just Dark Souls games. And they'll do that for like a year or two, and they'll grow a community, and then all of a sudden they're like, you know what? I'm going to play literally anything else but Dark Souls. <laughs> and it's just like, yeah. It just it just wears on you. Like, it happens a lot with the horror community. There's a lot of people that play uh, Dead by Daylight, and they play that for years, and they're like super happy with it. And then you know, they, after a couple of years, they're just like, you know what? We we we've, we've done only Dead by Daylight for so long that I'd prefer to do anything else. So we played some Dead by Daylight. I like the game, but not so much that I would I would want to center my content around it. But then again, I I don't I haven't found a single game that I'm like, this is my content. I'm gonna do this for the next year because I, I have a big problem with being like, once I reach an end goal in a game, I'm like, okay, give me the next thing, give me the next thing. <laughs> so I'm very bad about uh, sticking with games that don't have endings essentially. Um, all right, so this is what we're growing these crops for. So these. Willow wisps are experienced. They give 375. Um, so let's go with you. So what we're doing is we're essentially feeding them until they level up like crazy. Um, and then we're leveling them up. So we're basically we're power leveling them with the system that's in the game. We get bored streaming the same thing for too long, so I gotta switch it up. If not, I'll just be bored streaming. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay, so we leveled you up a bunch, so you have nine points. All right, so let's do five more points here, so you have a lot of damage. And then let's do some health. Okay. Uh, Impatience plus. Um, oof, this is a tough one. Damage, or we have enough consumes. I think we're going to go with damage on you. Firestorm. This is the first time we've seen it. Oh, this is the fire version of the poison thing. Ooh. Okay, we're definitely going to have to upgrade that one, though. Uh, rain of fire. Or rain fire. Uh, blaze is eh. We're going to go with pier. Um... Let's go with Reconsider. 
Um, blind blow. Uh, fireball plus. And fine, we'll just add a consume plus. Okay, cool. That's the first firestorm we've seen. Okay, so let's get in here. Again, th there's there's other things you can do. I'm just trying to push this into winter, so that way we can do the winter content. Um, because there's a winter temple, we can only do we can only access once we get into winter. There's ice spirits that we can only get during winter. Um, I did not mean to step out. And uh, once we get the winter temple done and get some of the ice spirits, uh, all we'll have left is just the very last area. Okay, we've got another dark matter, which is good, because that means we'll, once we get enough moonstones, we'll be able to make the dark resistance, which is all we'll need to really knock out the end of the game there. So, But... Uh, but yeah, I, I, I totally get that leave. The the idea of like streaming the same thing, you just get bored. Yeah, it also one thing one thing I noticed when like when I came back, uh when I started doing the stuff that I like I wanted to do, like a lot of the retro stuff, um, I just noticed I was having a lot more fun. Because I didn't feel obligated to stream. I felt like I wanted to stream. And that's that's when I realized I was like, okay, th this is what streaming should feel like, right? I should want to get up, I should wanna do the stream, I should be excited for the things I'm gonna play. And the reason why I put, like, the horror and retro at the end of the week is so that way if we, if we have, like, a rough Monday and I'm just not feeling it, I'm still excited for the end of the week because we get to play these, like, cool retro and uh, regular horror games that I may have not been able to play ever. So. But, uh. But, yeah, it's, uh. Streaming is definitely an interesting thing, because I think I think there's a quite a few people that like jump into streaming, thinking that like, oh, I just got to stream for like a year and then I'll be able to make a living off of it, and they don't realize like that's just not how streaming works. Like if you go viral very quickly, there's a chance you could get to the point where that happens, but like virality only gets you so far. Like you have to be able to entertain or educate or whatever your your form of uh, doing things is um otherwise people will just leave right they'll be like oh that one moment was funny but the rest of this is not interesting right so a lot of people a lot of people try to shoot for virality and then realize that people won't stick around if you're not consistently making those moments so that's why i tell people you know a lot of times you just gotta stream what you want to stream and have fun with it because like if you, if you grow a community, great. If you don't, then, you know, at least you're just doing it for fun and you're enjoying yourself. Because, again, life's too short to worry about all that stuff, man. You know. Just spend the time you want. You know, even if you only have, like, an hour a day you can spend streaming. Or an hour every few days. You know, just do it for fun. It's a hobby. Video games have always been a hobby and they should, they should be that, you know. And, again, if, if you end up making money on it, great. But... It should never be your number one goal, because that's what—that's why I, that's one of my things is when I, I was really focusing on that. Um, when I when I was doing that streaming every day thing, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this for a year, and then by the end of the year, I'm gonna have follows and viewers and all that stuff. And it didn't turn out like that. I got affiliate really quick. Uh, I, I like within the first month, I was able to get affiliate, but um, past that, it was there was just there was just nada, you know.